My studio here is at the Horse Ranch. It's a perfect art studio. You have inspiration all around you, and uh, I have the space to uh, enjoy my silence. What I do in the morning, um, I come here and go out and feed my horses and you know, talk to them and pat them and give them water and hang out with them. Come on! Food! Good old hay. So this is Whiskit. He is 29, he, in, January, or in February he will be 30 and he's been with me all over the world. Then I have a coffee with the cat. And read my Dutch newspaper. I think it's really important to um, treasure your, uh, your roots. I love to paint. I live and breathe art. I can look at art every day. I can read about art. I can listen to podcasts. I've been like that my whole life. Mijn naam is Irmgard Geul en ik kom uit Blarikum, Nederland. En ik leef nu in Pals Valley, Oklahoma. Blarikum is um, it's kind of in the middle of um, the Netherlands. Um, it's um, an old farmer's town. It's a beautiful area. A very um, popular area for um, artistic people painters, performers. I always wanted to be an artist. There's never been a doubt that I wanted to be anything else. My mother was like, yeah, if you want to be an artist, you can be an artist. What made me come to Oklahoma is um, horses. Um, the American Quarter Horse. Uh, when it comes to running a quarter of a mile, a quarter horse will be the thoroughbred every time. I uh, fell in love with the American Quarter Horse bought a couple here, shipped them over, and then they thought, hey, uh, we can do that and offer that service. Yeah, before I know it was kind of a, um, a full working ranch with import and export, training horses, buying and selling horses, raising horses. I started um, the embroidery painting uh, part. I started that, um, I went home for Christmas to see my sister. And my sister said, you know, I have all this stuff from my mother. You need to pick some too. And I went through all the material. She gave me this whole mountain of, you know, buttons, uh, uh, embroidery thread, um, yarns, uh, fabrics. And while picking up all these things, I got all these memories, you know. And I was like, I'm going to do something with that. The collage pieces are, in this case, Dutch tiles. I had this old calendar with, um, from the Rijksmuseum in the Netherlands, and I had all these Dutch tiles, and I knew I was gonna do something with them. Then I go over with, um, I start sketching the flowers, uh, the tulips. I always felt I was not a good enough uh, realistic painter. I felt more comfortable in painting abstracts and I really wanted to challenge myself in, in doing those pictures instead of making an abstract out of them. I wanted to show my audience how beautiful Oklahoma is. Oh, 
like Paul's Valley because it's, you know, a quirky little town and it has the brick streets, what kind of reminds me of, you know, home. Um, I, I like that it, it has um, a community. Um, so, yeah, you can really be part of something here. Come on back here. Yeah, we sell appliances. We've got furniture over here, we've got some mattresses. If you need some help with electronic parts, plugs, cords, batteries, you know, stuff like that in there. So we got thingamajigs in there. People don't come in looking for art in here, but I, I, I drag them over to show them my wife's art. Yeah, that's my home. And I remember showing her mattresses because I needed a couple of new mattresses out at the ranch. I think that's the first time I really noticed her. She had just turned 40, I just turned 45 for our first date. She's the best girlfriend I've ever had. And I hope she can say I'm the best boyfriend. I wanted to have kind of an uneven number of flowers in there to make it interesting. And tulips are very hard um, to put in a vase, so I want to kind of put that in this painting, how difficult it is. It's really strange, but my mother is always here. <laughs> um, not everybody understands that, I think. She's, a lot of times she tells me what color, what needle. Um, sometimes I have to tell her to shut up, but <laughs> it's... Uh, no, she's pretty good. She uh, guides me a lot. The color of the paper is very important because um, my embroidery thread will bring in, bring true that color. The thread will bring that extra dimension, like, like it will come towards you. My current exhibition, My Hometowns, is about that feeling like, yeah, I left home, but I'm home. I really wanted to show what is for someone in the Netherlands, you know, there are tulips, there are wooden shoes, there are windmills. That's what people think about the Netherlands. And I wanted to create the same, what, my idea of what Oklahoma was for me, so I really went back like, the first time I got here, it's like, oh, that guy with the cowboy hat. The pump jacks, the rodeos. It has an enormous impact to, um, to live in a different country. I think it really makes you grow, and grow as an artist because moving to different places and seeing different cultures. I, I cannot imagine where I, what I would have been in the Netherlands I <laughs> if I stayed there. Um, now I make embroidery paintings and work with a thread, but I, you know, I can't really tell in 10 years what I'm doing. I, I hope someone else, something else inspires me. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. I like adventure, I like uh, new things. I cannot drive the same route every day to the ranch. So that's my character and that's how I kind of got, I think, to do so many things in my life. <laughs>